Hello everyone, my name is Ashby Reed. I'm the vice president and contributing artist here at Onyx Fine Arts Collective. I am um, what one would call a, a palette knife impressionist artist. And, and what I'm going to do today is to demonstrate my, uh, my process and, and, and how I work with a palette knife. I like working with a palette knife because uh, it's uh, simple and it's quick and I've been doing it for so long it comes easy to me. I'm going to wet my canvas first of all and what I'm going to do different is I'm going to use some different paint and, um, and, and you guys are going to laugh at me but that's all right because I use a little for my background. I want to use uh, uh, some paint that I found at, uh, at Home Depot. They call it Oops paint. It's latex. That I'm going to use to get my background going. Okay, so down. And I'm going to put a little uh, moisture on here in, in, in the background. Then I'm going to take this paint and just step out here and, and, and get something going on this background to get some color back here. I like to uh, put a lot on because I want to cover that background up as, as, as much as I can. I do art because I, I need the therapy. I don't know if you folks were uh, have jobs like, uh, like I did. I had a very high intense job as a graphic designer all my life. The position I had was in publishing and in publishing business you had deadlines and you had to be on time. There was no such thing as missing that, uh, that, take, that date and that time, okay? So I needed a lot of therapy. So in the evenings, I would paint. Now, now that I got some gray back there, I'm going to mix me up some real, some real acrylic paint here. I'm gonna use a lot of it so Ain't no sense in being stingy. Just trying to get something smooth going on here. And you know, try to go all the way to, if, if you're doing this, in this process, make sure you're going all the way to the edge. So while I'm doing this, tell you a little bit about how I got uh, introduced to, uh, to, to Onyx. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I had a 45-year career at Boeing. I retired in 2009. And when I retired, I had to decide what I was going to do. After six months of sitting on the couch, I thought it'd be a real good idea to, uh, to find something to do. And what I found to do was really cool. It was the paint. I uh, bumped into a friend of mine, and, uh, and that guy, uh, apparently, he was involved with Onyx. It was Ernie Thomas. So after meeting Ernie Thomas, you know, he had me by his place for dinner. I went to my, he brought him to my place for dinner, and we became friends, and he was telling me about this operation that he was involved in call Onyx. Guys, I learned an awful lot from watching other artists and, uh, and like Ernie and I feel, you know, it's almost like Christmas when artists come into the gallery to hang their work. We really are surprised that some of the skill, some of the talent, the differences, the different ideas. Anyway, what I'm painting you guys is, uh, is going to be what I call a moonscape. I like to do uh, uh, as, as cityscapes, landscapes, moonscapes. I'm also going to put a little something here. You know, you can draw with a pencil or you can draw with the back of a brush, as long as you uh, can see something to, to give you an idea of, of, uh, of, of, of what you're gonna be, the area that you're gonna cover. That looks like a, like a horizon. And I just need an idea of a, of a, of a location. So, so, so pretty much 
The rest of this, I'm going to work with my palette knife. Now, I, I've got all different kinds of palette knives, as you can see. And, uh, and the one I'm going to use has a little angle on it to simplify how I do my mountains. You want to come all the way to the edge over here. So we're starting to look like uh, I got some depth on this with my, with, with my mountain range. And with the angle of that brush, it kind of makes it really easy to do. I tell you why I think onyx is important. When I was drawing and painting, I would go to galleries and you know, the first thing a gallery owner, want, you know, first thing they want to know is where have you painted before? Or where have you shown before? Well, I didn't know very many African-Americans in the Pacific Northwest that were showing in galleries. I, I hardly knew any of those folks, if there were any. After Jacob Lawrence and uh, James Washington, there was, there was none of these, there was, you know, everybody was looking for the next artist. Get their, get their work out there and, and, and able to show uh, what it is they could do. And get the exposure. So, Onyx did that for, I think, quite a few people in the last 15 years that they've been doing this. I came along after about uh, four or five years. I was 10 years into this. With, with, I was 10 years into this with Onyx. Let me finish that thought. 10 years into this with Onyx, and I saw the growth, and I saw the number of artists that were getting an opportunity to show in a gallery. Well, when they showed in our gallery, Onyx got well enough known in the Pacific Northwest for our artists to go out to that gallery downtown, Pioneer Square or, or wherever, and, and uh, that question came up, where have you shown before? Well, they showed, I showed at Onyx, Fine Arts Gallery. Oh, okay, let me see your work. Some folks got a chance to show work in different galleries because they could add Onyx to their resume. So I think that's important and the role that Onyx plays in the community and in the Pacific Northwest. You know, face it, you go back east and when somebody says you're from Seattle, they want to know where the heck that is, but they also have no idea there's a whole bunch of African-American artists here in Seattle. Matter of fact, being on the board, I've got I guess access to our mailing list. And, um, and a couple weeks ago, I think we have 402 African descent uh, artists from Alaska to Portland on our mailing list. And when we put a call out to do a show, like we always do, uh, we get 40, 50, 60 responses. Because right now in the gallery, we're hanging maybe 37 different artists. And, uh, and, uh, and not only that, but we are uh, uh, putting up maybe 60 or 70 pieces of work. Oh yeah, and, and you, you know, don't paint without any music in the background, okay? That just kind of helps soothe the, uh, the, the, it's part of the therapy, okay? As simple, as this is, it's a little time consuming, but that's the idea. You want to take up some time, part of the therapy, if you will. And the palette knife process, in my mind, is very forgiving. You can make a mistake and it looks like you knew what you were doing. The next thing I want to do is kind of put this someplace, you know, uh, I called my pieces moonscapes anywhere, cityscapes anywhere, and I like to kind of put something else in my foreground instead of boats. I, I like to put a little fishing village here or a mountainside, and this could be Alki, or, 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 or this could be uh, the Greek islands, you know, who, who, who cares, but it's something. What I'm trying to do is, is to put something in here that uh, impressionistically, it looks like there's uh, 
These are buildings. So buildings obviously are squares and the roofs. And it kind of stair steps down to the water. And all you really want to do is imply that there's something here. It's and the other thing is, I kind of like to work from dark to light. This, in this case, I put my moon and uh, water and everything there in, in, in a gray, I haven't put the moon in yet, but it was a gray sky and, and gray water. That, that water reflects right off of there. You know, I usually take a couple of days to do a piece like this, and, uh, but I have only a certain amount of time to, uh, to work a piece. So that looks like a, that looks like a moon. That's, uh, that's coming along pretty good. So I got a moon, I got some mountains, but you know what I need? I need some highlights. So I got, so instead of white cap mountains, I got a little reflection off of my moon that I got up there. That ought to, that ought to kind of do it for, for now, but you get the idea. So, so you got some, some, some uh, water here and you've got some mountains here. You got a silhouette back there. It's abstract, it don't have to be exact. It's impressionist palette knife work. You can't do anything detail in, uh, in, with, with, with palette knife. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, put some reflection on, on the buildings that I have here. Little moonlight, little moonlight reflection happening here. And, but you now get the idea of, um, of uh, how a palette knife works and how a palette knife artist works. And then what I'm gonna do is let the palette knife dance a little bit in here. It don't have to be exact. And I'll touch it up at a later time. So art can be fun, art can be relaxing. It definitely is therapeutic. You can't make a mistake, you can't do nothing right, you can't do nothing wrong. Just do something. It'll keep you from sitting on the couch. And since I don't play golf and I don't fish, this is what I prefer to do. This is what I like doing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Onyx Fine Arts Collective. Thank you.